So, Manchester United limping to a penalties defeat to Villarreal in the Europa League final and a season that could have been finished on a brilliant high has ended on a terrible low. With David De Gea missing the penalty that gave us that loss. First thing I want to say is I don't blame De Gea for missing that penalty. He's a goalkeeper. I'm not going to hold that against him. That would be very harsh. I, the concept of David De Gea maybe being, not being the right goalkeeper, given that he's, last time I remember him saying a penalty was, what was it, Lukaku against Everton a long time ago. That's a different conversation altogether. But United in that game against Villarreal, we were dominant in the idea that we had the majority of the possession for both halves. Villarreal were not threatening whatsoever. It wasn't even close between the two teams, but we just did not have an attacking threat. United just did not go at Villarreal. I don't understand it. Is that a tactic from the manager? Is that because of the confidence of the players? You let me know in the comments. What was the reason behind that? But United in that game against Villarreal, we were poor. We, we were poor in, 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 in the game where we, it seemed like we had pure confidence. Not confidence. We were, dom we, we were better than Villarreal. But instead of us turning that into goals and threats, it was a game that turned into just a complete lack of threat against Villarreal. And it was just... It, 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 it annoyed me to watch because United should have been so much better there against Villarreal. So much better against Federal. Thank you very much, Chris. You'd be quiet over there. Anyway, I wish that. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to. I'm trying not to laugh, but we just lost 11-10 on penalties in in a European Cup final there. And I, 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 I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold that against. I'm not gonna hold that against David De Gea because I don't. <laughs> We want Glazer out, say we want Glazer out. All right, lads. We want Glazer out. I mean, you can do what you want. They're opening a bottle of red wine as well. At the same time, they say that, but I'm, I can't hold that against David De Gea because for me to hold that against a goalkeeper for missing a penalty is fucking unfair. He should have been better. Uh, but at, at, at the same at the same point though, their penalties were fantastic. I don't really know what to say, if I'm honest, from that whole game. Uh, Scott McTominay, for me, was probably man of the match. Uh, it, it's, it, it's a game where I don't really think United were ever fluid. I don't think Bruno Fernandes was really in the game. I don't really think that, you know, other than that goal by Cavani off the rebound, that United really, genuinely threatened in front of goal. We had so much of the ball, yet we threatened very little. I think that's probably how I would describe how United played in that game. Villarreal did not threaten United really once. Not, well, I'm sure they did once or twice, but if you look at the majority of that game, Villarreal did really not very much. We want Glazers out! Say, we want Glazers out! That would be crazy. We want Glazers like, out! You go and enjoy your wine over there. Right? It's, it's gin, my bad. It, it's gin, my bad. It's gin. Right, go outside. Anyway, back to my fucking match reaction. What else can I say that you don't already know? Um, it's an extremely disappointing end to the season, given how, in, how this could have been seen in terms of, it could have been Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's first trophy, end of the season, let's ignore what's happened in the past five, six weeks, and let's focus on what's happened here. Instead, it's a game where we've lost on penalties, a game where Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, if you're looking at... And I'll be honest, that starting eleven, he started Popper alongside McTominay instead of Fred and McTominay. So he took a bit of a risk. But at the same time, those players did not deliver. So, oh man, it's just... It's a hugely disappointing situation from a, uh, from a game where United were totally, totally in control. But, control, but controlling without threatening. United were not going forward enough. United were not really threatening the Villarreal defence enough. They were comfortable in their own situation. And they were just happy to sit there and sit there until they went to the penalties. And judging by the penalties, you understand exactly why.
But United there tonight, we've lost the Europa League on penalties. 11-10. David De Gea with a penalty that missed it. And so, as I said before the game, 22 years on from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer winning the treble with Fergie on Sir Matt Busby's birthday. We've gone and lost it on penalties. And if you're looking at scripts being written for David De Gea to miss the penalty that ultimately loses us the European Cup there tonight, the Europa League, maybe sometimes the scripts really write themselves. And maybe that'll be the last time that we see David De Gea in a Manchester United shirt. But it's a really disappointing way to win the season. It's a really disappointing way to lose a European Cup final on penalties. So many good penalties there from both teams. Wow. <sighs> Let me know what your match reaction is. It, for me, it's a massively disappointing match reaction. I don't really know what else I can say that hasn't already been said or interrupted by other people. But let me know what you think in the comments below. But United lose tonight to Villarreal. Were they the better team? No. Did they take the better, better penalties? Yes. Over 11, over 11 penalties, they did. And that is exactly why they won the Europa League. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to United People See if you're new. But we lost the Europa League tonight. And that is a real, real sucker and bad way to end the season.